drizzle, drazzle, drizzle, dronin. It's nice out here this morning, raining on the Eagle River in Avon. This is your Vail Summit Orthopedics epic morning. I'm getting wet. I didn't wear a rain jacket, but it's a nice warm rain. It feels good out here. So I'm trying this uh, modern nymphing, this European nymphing technique. I redid my line to accommodate the deeper water. Uh, it's pretty deep out here. We're looking at anywhere from probably six to eight feet deep in this particular section. So this is a great spot for a lot of these fish in the river to congregate because it's safe. They can go down deep. They can't be seen by predators flying overhead. And also they're getting down there where the water's cooler, but they're not too active first thing this morning. Looking upstream just around the corner is Bob the Bridge. Um, let me tell you real quick where Bob the Bridge got its name. So back, uh, I think it was back in the 80s, they're trying to come up with a name for this particular bridge. They had a few different options, and one of the guys who I think was a part of the uh, planning committee just said, why don't we just call the bridge Bob? And for some reason it stuck. It's nothing more than that. Um, some current up there, that's probably a good spot for the fish because of that oxygen. But this is one of the deeper pools still existing on the Eagle River up valley right now. I want to mention water temperatures. We are in the middle of not so much a drought, but you know, not a lot of rain, lower water levels, a lot of sunshine, meaning these water temperatures warm up dramatically over the course of the day. Now, around Eagle County on certain sections of certain rivers, there's a voluntary closure uh, after two o'clock, they're saying, please don't go and fish after two because the water temperatures get too warm. Deeper places like this, you're probably not going to see water temperatures getting into the mid to upper 60s. All right, this is Vail Summit Orthopedics Epic Morning. I'm going to pack up my gear and head to Minturn for the last hour of our show. When we come back, we have uh, Lance Fry coming into the studio from Betteridge Fine Jewelers. He's a great guy. They call him the goat. We're going to find out why after the break.